Hey guys, so today we got more one AP video. Everybody, you know what is this? So this pins is a pain in the ass for every scrapper and a refiner. This is the motherboard socket laptop mostly, and uh, I got some other. I call that stubber pins. That is the pins which don't want to remove from the plastic. You can push them, you can squeeze them, but they just stay on place. So I want to show you what I do with this. I got half jar here. Maybe got some tin from there. So okay, for the first. Practically is the same stuff with the uh, like the IT chips. We got metal can and uh, we put all this in the can. And we go. Let's go to burn this file. See that? It's a lot of pins there, but but plastic. So let's go to burn this. Okay, after you burn this, how it's got, but how, how it looks, but uh, it's very crunchy. So what you can do, you can, uh, you have to grind, grind that in the fine dust. Now we grind that, crush that, and uh, practically, practically is the same stuff like we do with the IC chips. We filter that, and uh, we just it's a reverse. We keep the big one part and uh, we throw away the dust because uh, in the bigger part is uh, our pins, co-plated pins. Okay, we finish. So what we left here is a uh, mostly burned pins. So see that? Not much, but uh, now you could uh, put that on the AP wait uh, three days because only three days is enough because that burn uh, metal is uh, much easier to dissolve than uh, regular pins and uh, you could do some nitric acid but uh, nitric is uh, expensive or you can do straight in aqua regia but uh, it's too much base metal here but so what I want to do is uh, put that in the AP solution, okay? And what we left here is all that dust, uh, probably contains some small microscopic pins with the gold, but uh, don't actually exist way how you pull that little amount of gold from the dust, so this go in the trash. This is just junk. So what we do, we add a little HCL. But we got some base metal inside aluminium probably. So we got a vigorous reaction. So we're gonna wait till the reaction is done. And we add some copper to chloride. 